new at five, words of gratitude in Richmond. This is to all my young brothers right here in the city of Richmond. I thank you. Um, thank, uh, thank you for laying your weapons down. The tent cities are coming down in Richmond after a week-long protest. Organizers say they set them up as a stand against violence, and while it was a success, with three shootings and no murders, Crown Force Hazik Majun shows us one man who says there is still work to be done. Now here, man, this is real. It's, it's bullet wounds and it's corpses. Look across the street. You know, we competing for business. School, funeral home. It's been a week. The tents have come down. Now, some people like well, Richmond teacher Darius okay. McDonald say it's time for these signs to go up. You know what? Put a billboard up. Gun-free billboard to school. At the, end of, at the end of the block, on each block, you get your ass get caught with a gun by the school. You're going to jail to, for life. Well, not exactly for life, but an additional three to five years will be added to any crime committed with a gun 1,000 feet from a school. And the city is warming up to the idea. The city manager told me by phone that while he supports the idea of the signs, it still needs to be approved by the city's public safety committee. McDonald says, just get it done. You know what I'm saying? If that's what, if that's what it takes, We'll do it. Put the sign up. We're not having these kids getting killed around here. We're having drive-bys at these, these schools. You go down here to Ford, Lincoln, Nystrom, when they had bullets flying through the, through the, um, through the school. All right? So if you go do some gun-free school stuff, make it known. Let people know that we mean business. We ain't playing. The signs will be presented to Richmond's Public Safety Committee later this week. Reporting from Richmond, this is Hazik Madyun, Cron 4 News.